Okay. Yeah, and after that, you need to press the letter R. R as in Roger key at the same time. With four fly window key. Okay? Okay, I'm pressing the Windows key. Roger, R for Romeo. Press the letter R. The Windows key and R for Romeo. Okay, I've done that. Now what? At the same time. Did you done that? Yeah, I've done that. I've clicked on the Windows key and R, uh, yeah. Yeah, but now what you can get on your computer screen. Did you get any popped up? Yeah, I've got a black box popped up. A black box? Yeah, yeah. Like run, correct? Yeah, that's right, yes. Yeah, inside that run box, can you see that it says type the name of a program, older document, or internet resource, and Windows will open it for you. Right. All right. Is this going to help me get rid of um, the the infection that you've detected? No, sir. First, you need to translate the code that you are talking to the right person or not. That's why I'm making you aware of it. So, besides open, can you see the panel? The yep. search panel inside open inside that run box. I can see the search panel. So, okay. Now, what do I type into my computer? C for Charlie, yeah. M for mother. M for mother. Yeah, I'm typing it now. D for David. Okay, D for David. Yeah, type that in. Right. So, after that, now can you see on the bottom, can you see the three options? You can see right now this is highlighted in a blue color, right? Yeah, yeah, I can see all that. Yeah, give a click on OK. Okay. Um, I can't really see anything at the moment. What? What should I What should I be seeing? Sir, did you give a click on the OK? Yeah, I clicked on the OK. And now what you can see on the screen? Did you get any box up? Yeah, I've got a box up. What kind of box do you get in? Uh, it's like a configuration box. Configuration box? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one, yeah. Yeah. Is it in a black color or a white color? Uh, it's in um, black background. Black background, correct. Yes. Besides your, yeah, inside that box, besides your username. Yes. Okay, so hang on, this is the, um, I'm typing this in. Uh, so th this is going to help me get rid of the virus on my computer, is it? Because I'm getting really worried about these viruses. Um, I can understand, sir, but before that, we need to make you aware of it as well. Because I've tried some creams and stuff, and uh, the viruses are still there on the, on this computer. It's uh, It's been a real pain. Don't be worried, sir. We will be helping you out with it as well. But before that, you need to just listen to my words when I'm telling you. You need to do that. Listen to your voice when you're telling me. Okay, right. Sorry, I forgot. It's a serious business. Sir, besides your username, can you see the cursor which is blinking? Yes, I can see the blinking cursor, yes. Right. Besides that, you need to type over here, A as in alpha, or yes. S as in sugar. Eh, sorry, what was that? It is S for sugar. Sugar, yes. Right. S for sugar again. Yes. Yes. B for Charlie. Right. Then press the enter key. Enter from the keyboard. Okay, just go through those letters again. Yeah, sorry? What were those letters again? Um, sir, you just typed over here. It is A-S-S-O-T, correct? A-S-S-O-T. C, C for Charlie, sir. A-S-S-O-C, ASOC. Okay, right. I've typed in ASOC on my computer keyboard. Because, sir, this will open up the association part of your computer. Oh, right. So this is getting into the depths of my computer. Okay, right. Okay, I've done that, right. 
Yep, yeah, done that. Yes, I can, yeah. Is that a virus? Yeah. Now, let me tell you, sir. Can you see that? It says up like drop that is sent to target equals to C L S I D. Can you see that? Yep, yep, I've got that. Okay. So what does that do then? Yeah, let, me, let me tell you, sir. It is stands for the computer license security identifying code. So whenever there is something that's wrong with the computer, it's identifying code of your computer. Help us to get informed about all of those problems. And after that, then we call you up to help you out. So it's the identifying code for my computer. Okay. But it is the identifying code of your computer. Not anybody else's, just my computer. <laughs> yes, sir. It is only a good. So, okay. So you, you guys at um, Windows Service. Um, so what's your name, Gabe? Was it uh, David Martin? John Martin, sorry, John. Um, okay, so carry on, yeah, John. You just need to cross check it out whether it is acting with your computer ID code or not. Okay. Okay, right, fine, go ahead. So just cross check it out. It is 888. 888. Okay, right. Okay, right, yeah. I meant one one C F. I meant eight F zero F. Right? Okay, yep. Yeah. I meant zero zero C zero four F D seven D zero six two. Sir. Does it match up with your computer ID code? I uh, told you. It does match with my computer ID code. Minimize it, yeah. Okay, minimize that. So it's on the bottom bar of my computer screen. Right, right, right. So now, you need to pull up the run box once again with the four flag Windows key and the letter R. Okay, I pulled up the run line with the Windows key and R, yeah. Yeah, by now what you can find the run box. Sorry, say again. What you can see on the run box, the side open, is the panel is empty or something. Yes, it's all that. It's all there? Yeah. Then the CMD is over there, right? Yeah, CMD. Yeah. Just give a package space on it and make it empty. Make it, okay. Done that. Have you made it empty? Yes, I've made that. Um, you know, this is a... This is very long-winded. Is, is can't I just run a virus scanner or something to clear up my viruses? Or this malware you're reporting? Okay, right. Right. And this will definitely clear all the spyware and malware off my computer. But before that, let me make you aware of it. Make me aware of it. Okay, okay. Go, click on, carry on. Yeah, okay. okay. So you are in the run box, right? I'm, I'm in the run box, yes, Mr. Martin. Sorry? I'm in the run box, Mr. Martin, yes. Uh, yes, it's empty. Right, that's good. So now you need to just simply type over here. E for echo. Yeah. E for echo. And, right, after that, V for Victor. V for Victor. E for echo again. Okay, N for November, T for tango, V for Victor, W for whiskey, R for Romeo. Would that be the command? Uh, yeah, sorry, mate. I, I I didn't tell you. Um, I'm actually an IT professional, and I just been playing with you because I'm a bit bored, really. And I know you're running a scam, so it's just a bit of Saturday morning fun. And I'm also broadcasting you live on um, Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, all my followers are listening on this, and they're laughing and making comments. 
because they know it's a scam. It's brilliant. But carry on if you want to. No, I don't want because our law company has been invested by you. Oh, right. So you're just going to leave me hanging with a no more entertainment for the morning and try and scam somebody else. You just told me the truth. Yeah, it's the truth. The truth is you're scamming people, isn't it? Now it is not more interesting to talk with you. Event viewer. Come on. Event viewer. You and I know that's just a list of uh, events that happen in a log file. It doesn't mean that there's a virus. No, no, the event viewer doesn't do that. Come on, you want to look at some malware or tracing or something you, you, like that. You, 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 event viewer? I've been in computers for over 30 years, mate. Nice try. <laughs> I think I just had some seepage. Sorry, guys. Um, you don't want to slang on me. Oh, go on. Do you do your worst? What can you slang on me? Go on. I'll ask my Facebook people. Shall I slang on him? Shall I? They are telling that you are a motherfucker. You didn't pass that. <gasps> Is that the best you've got, Mr. Martin? Your language, your mother would be so proud. Oh, we're not there anymore. Mr. Martin? The other person has cleared. Well, there you go, guys. Cleared. That was um, John Martin from Microsoft... No, sorry, from Windows Support calling me telling me that I've got an infection on my computer and um, that he was going to help me get rid of it. Just thought I'd play around with him to see uh, how far he'd go with it. I had to let him go in the end and tell him the story that I've been in IT for a lot longer than probably he has. But anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if I get another one, I'll let you know. See you later. Bye.